fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 27th of August 2025. I hope you are keeping well and that your throats are not sore. <laughs> Mine is. Uh, unfortunately, I've had, a, uh, um, I've, I've had a sore throat since yesterday evening. Well, actually since Monday, I guess. Um, because I'm speaking far too much, so I should try to limit... The amount of conversation that I have with you today. Um, um, it's nice to be back on a, in the in the week. Uh, I don't have to do. I don't have to work uh, today and tomorrow. Well, I do have to work, but I don't have to work outside, and uh, I can do tasks uh, in my own time. So I should be playing some games of Sudoku, assuming that my voice holds up for the next two days. Um, what's going on in the world? Uh, Back in the UK, uh, you know, the problem with people is they, they have such short goldfish memories and they are so dumb at times. It drives me nuts. Uh, Nigel Farage, who promised millions and millions and millions of pounds would be returned to the NHS if, if Britain left the uh, European Union, uh, which was a complete lie. Of course, Brexit was an absolute lie. Never did any of the things that he said it would do. In fact, it just cost more money cost millions of pounds to British businesses who have to deal with the red tape and stuff, uh, now is uh, claiming they could save billions of pounds by uh, ripping up uh, the Human Rights Act and uh, deporting everybody, including women and children who arrives in the UK looking for asylum. This, of course, is monstrous, apart from the fact it's morally despicable. Uh, um, it is just It will be illegal in international terms. But, you know, of course, he's trying to copy Trump. Uh, as as I, I said so many times on this channel, uh, the problem with Trump is that he's liable to export his ideas to the UK, that Britain following uh, America in so many ways over the decades. Um, so, uh, anyway, let's hope that people wake up and discover that Farage is a monstrous being, uh, not just a chatty lad who likes... Uh, pint in the in the pub like any other local guy no he's a danger and uh let's hope uh, the british public see it for what it is see him for what he is uh, they ought to have done by now but as i say their memories are very short people have very short memories these days they just forget things very quickly shall we play our game of sudoku it's the guardian's medium level puzzle this morning and uh, let's get stuck in straight away. We've got twos blocking across here. I'll give us a two down there. Um, we've got fours blocking across this way and this way and a four blocking down there. And then we've got fours blocking upwards. So we're picking off numbers willy-nilly here. Um, fives going up there, five up there. No... Um, technique to this of course just random spotting here and there nine blocking across there nine blocking up here but we can see the nine must appear in one of these three squares blocking back so that will be our nine nine down here down there there's a nine nine across this way and this way will give us nine in that square there Missing numbers in this row are 1, 3, and 5. We've got 3 and 5 to, in this column. Therefore, not being 3 and not being 5, it will have to be being 1. Oops. <laughs> All right. And now we've got the 5 blocking that square there. So that will be a 5, and this will be our 3. Three. Um, do you like my deep voice? I noticed it seems to have dropped a couple of... Uh, um, several hundred hertz in frequency I think uh, because of my sore throat does it sound sultry <laughs> it would be nice to have a sultry voice because I don't I don't really have one that's for sure five blocking across here and five down here puts five into this square here two 
two blocking down here and across there will give us two in that square. Two down here will mean that must be two. Uh, what are we looking for down here? One, seven, and eight. Any joy on that? Not much. Uh, so that means this is not one, seven, or eight. It must be three and six. Any help there? No. So this then is one and seven. Any help there? No. But then this can't be one or seven. And so must be a six. Or you could have said six blocks up there if you prefer to do that. I'm not stopping you. I'm not limiting your power of um, deduction here. Six on that square there. Six blocking across here, across there. There's a six. Nine blocks this square. Nine. Oh, no, my eyes were oh, oh, askew there. I thought I'd seen nine blocking this square, but no, I was in the wrong row. I was off by a row. Oops. Never mind. We've got four. Oh, no, we didn't need that. Four blocking down here, four across there. There we go. And there's a four. Seven blocks across there. There's our seven. One blocks down here, giving us one. And that's where eight finishes. The block and the missing number here is going to be five, I think. Can't find the missing number. Seven is one of them. Seven across there. What's the other missing? Oh, it's a one. Okay, I see now. Back on this side, what are we looking for? Two. Let's put it in then. Two blocking down here, down there, and two across there. There's two. Two across this way, down there, down there. That's our first completed digit. Thank you, digit two. Come back in another Sudoku puzzle, please. Uh, well, we've done a lot already, haven't we? Should we just try going through... Oh, what's missing up here? Four, five. Okay, let's just try going through the numbers and see. Seeing if uh, we can spot anything... Uh, like that. We've got two already. How about threes? one somewhere seven blocking down there will give us seven in that square and we do have a pair of something well let's just do this first seven blocks across here and seven blocks down here so seven is in one of these two squares blocking back so that would be our seven there uh, now you should be able to notice that we have six and seven here six and seven here so they're going to block across like this and across like that so that's going to give us six and seven in those squares there and that will leave us back here with an 8. And this must be our 1. Uh, back for the 6 and 7. So the remaining digits, we've got 1 blocking across there. Uh, this is 6 and 7, right? So that's our 1 there. 6 and 7 are here. i say it again. So this has to be 8 and 9. So 9 blocking down there is the 9. And there's the 8. Cross here for the last number, which is five. Uh, missing numbers here, what are they? Uh, eight and nine, I think. Eight blocking down there. Nine here. Nine to the top. Nine across there. Uh, Five blocking this square. We need a five in this column. We don't have one yet, so it's got to go there. And then we can finish this column with an eight. Two, eight, and nine are now defunct digits. What else? Three. 
3 blocking up there will give us 3 in that square, 3 across here, 3 up there. There's a 3, one more number for this column. Six. Six across there, there's a six. Oh, voice is getting steadily worse, I can feel it. Throat is getting sore and sore. I've got time to break out the lemon and honey in a second. Uh, this is uh, six. Uh, not much to go now. What's the last number in this column? Four, is it? I think it's a four. Missing number here is a five. Uh, what's left to get? One, four, and seven. So four blocking across there. There's our four. This is one. One back that way. There's the one. Here's the seven to finish. Uh, that's our medium level puzzle from The Guardian. Uh, hopefully we'll be back later in the day with some other puzzles. Take care. Bye-bye.